Okay, so this is uh, Host Monster. This is where I choose to host all my uh, domains. However, there are plenty of other hosting providers out there, uh, web servers and all that. And you can choose whatever you like. Um, this was only introduced to me uh, a few years ago whilst I was following a particular strategy. Same with uh, when I was when I was saying about domain cheapsters and the host uh, the registrar. These guys they offer uh, four dollar a month basically uh, hosting, and you can have unlimited space and bandwidth, unlimited domains, unlimited email, etc., etc., etc. So uh, it's pretty much all that you ever need, and they're always up to date with things such as Perl and uh, PHP and all that kind of stuff, and uh, all the scripts and installations such as WordPress and all that. Always um, top of the line. And I actually have a uh, a dedicated server with them. And previously, I was using Shared. And in both circumstances, I've never had any problems. Um, always good ho um, support as well. Um, can never 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 have trouble with getting through to someone, have a chat with them online, and get some things sorted out. So let's just uh, click the sign up now button. Obviously come to this page here now if you've never registered a domain before then you can enter one here and get it um, you can have host monster as your registrar as well um, however if you follow the um, video before then you already have one at least one domain and that can be entered into here so I'll just go ahead and pretend that I'm putting Calvin collective.net and then you click next okay and then okay, this this already obviously belongs to an account because um yep. Um however you'll on the next page you'll actually have an opportunity to create your hosting account and obviously put in your billing details and things like that. So let's just um, um okay. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to walk you through that process, but it's very straightforward. And then you'll receive an email in a few minutes' time with your login details for your cPanel access and your FTP servers and all that kind of thing. So it's pretty straightforward that email you receive, and um, it will just give you login details. So let's go over to this is the host monster cPanel uh, yeah, login page and I've already got my username and password put there so I'll just log straight in okay so this is logged in now and I'm in my uh, yeah, cPanel back end and this is where you make a lot of uh, different changes such as setting up email accounts adding on domains which I'll share in the very very next video but for now what I want to do is just show you very quickly um, you've got your username here okay and if you scroll down further you'll find that you have your dedicated IP address here or shared IP address okay um, so that number there is very important so make sure you copy that and put it into a notepad somewhere on your computer and I'll be showing you how to use that to uh, run your FTP client and upload files to your server hosting account and everything like that. So for, for starts, that's that. And also you will have found within the email, the welcome email, hosting email, uh, your DNS uh, information. And you can find it here. So that, that email that you'll get uh, has your the name servers so that you can point your uh, domain name to be linked up with your hosting so that people can actually find and uh, your website online and so you can actually uh, use it. So you just click here on I have specific name servers for my domain, click that one pop in your ns1 and your ns2 which is in this case hostmonster.com and 